I have the great pleasure now of being joined by Rich Besser, who is the president and CEO of the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, it's a pleasure. So you have been there just a few months. Yes. And yet I'm going to ask you about the goals for the next several years. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I have uh, just an incredible opportunity to, to be leading this, this foundation. Um, but I'm, I'm new to philanthropy. Uh, I'm not new to, to public health. I've, I've spent my career in public health at the CDC and then, and then in media. Um, but I'm new to philanthropy, so I really view this as a period of listening and learning. Um, listening to, to people we've been working with, uh, listening within the, the foundation, um, and listening to others to, to really think about how can we as a philanthropy uh, make the biggest difference? What are our levers? Uh, that are different. I, I, my perspective from governmental public health um, is different than, than that in philanthropy. And the way that we can make a difference in people's lives um, is, is not the same. So I'm, I'm really uh, uh, taking this opportunity to, to, to go slow, to, to hurry up and listen, rather than hurry up and make, and make change. But being at meetings like this and looking at the things that the American Public Health Association is focusing yeah. on, clearly those are great needs oh, in, totally. in this country. Very much. So as a pediatrician, I think you have a unique perspective because one of the things that APHA has been talking about for several years is becoming the healthiest nation yeah. in one generation. Yeah. These would be the children that Exa you would treat. Yeah, yeah. I, I think when, when you envision a world with the healthiest generation, you have to start with kids and the earlier the better. There's more and more data to show that early childhood development is, is critically important. The experiences that children have um, in those first few months, in those first few, few years, affect their brain development. And so if you're not starting that early, you're not gonna be able to, to reach that goal of a, of a healthiest generation. So we've been doing a lot uh, for a long time around children's health. We've had a lot of focus around uh, childhood obesity. Um, we still think that's very important, but we really feel it's important to take a, a view of the whole child. Uh, the, the, you know, how do you create a world in which children can be their healthiest? How do you support families to, to make that happen? Another area where a lot needs to be done is in the area of climate change and how it really does change health. Of course, this year's focus of the meeting here. Yeah. What are your thoughts about that? Well, it's an area that, that we're starting to do a little work in. Uh, when I think about climate, I, I ran emergency response at CDC, and so much of what we dealt with were severe weather events and the impacts on communities. And when you look at who's hit the hardest, it's the most vulnerable. And that's a big focus of, of, of our work. So what we're very interested in looking at is, is framing this issue of a changing climate in terms of health. What are the health impacts? Uh, uh, yes, we're talking about changes in weather. We're also talking about changes in air quality uh, that can affect asthma, it can affect uh, elderly people who have emphysema. Um, and what, are, what can communities do to prepare so that when these, these severe events happen, when the changing climate uh, uh, continues to occur, they're, they're ready and able to, to deal with those problems. You addressed it briefly in talking about different communities who are hit by some of these natural disasters, but also by, say, asthma rates and, and cancer rates and things like that. So let's look ahead to next year and the focus on health equity yeah. and how do we best achieve that? Well, if you look at, at all of the work we do as a, as a foundation, it's all within a frame of, of equity. And this focus on, on uh, ensuring or, or the goal that everyone in America has a fair and just opportunity for health and well-being. We don't live in that America right now, um, but we can, and we can all work to make, make that happen. And whether you call it equity or you call it fair opportunity, we're talking about the same thing and making sure that where you're born, uh, where, where you happen to, to live, doesn't define your future. And that's going to take a lot of work, but starting to, to put it out there in the forefront of this is the focus is, is a, an essential first step to making sure we get it done. A huge challenge, but if we have the goals there, then we can hopefully achieve them. And especially if we hold ourselves accountable. Dr. Rich Besser, thank you so much. Pleasure.